Hi, I'm Philia Stain and I'm the Safari Expert. And as you can see, I'm somewhere new today. I'm actually down here in the Western Cape for the International Tourism Film Festival Awards that I'll be attending in a couple of nights time. And I'm staying here with my mom in the little town of Claymont. Now today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I'm going to share with you what YouTube videos I actually watch. Now some of them are Safari related and others are just sort of my general interest. So it's going to give you a little bit of an insight into what I really enjoy. Now, before I tell you what those channels are, during the month of May, I'm actually trying to reach 10,000 likes on the Safari Expert Facebook page. So if you haven't done that yet, please pause this video, head over to Facebook, search for the Safari Expert page and leave a like. I would really appreciate that. Right, so let me tell you what YouTube videos I like to watch. Now, remember what I'll do in the description below is add a link to each of the channels, as well as one video for each channel that I think you have to watch first that might get you hooked as well. So the first channel that I want to talk to you about is Mark Dumbleton. Now Mark's actually a friend of mine and some of you might remember him from an interview that I did with him, I think it was last year at Antares Bush Camp where we spoke about landscape photography. So Mark is an excellent landscape photographer, one of the very best in South Africa and I'd like to think that I inspired him a bit to start his own channel. So Mark basically does videos about photography and places that he visits, a little bit of vlogging as well. And if there's one video that you have to go and watch first, it's the one that he made about the Drakensberg that he knows incredibly well. Just the most beautiful scenery and some wonderful techniques to photograph it as well. Night shooting sunset this afternoon at the Column and Pyramid. It's been raining a little bit and the mist is building and it's going and it's building and it's going so it's making it a little bit difficult. But the weather this afternoon looks good. There's definitely some rain coming. So Mark's channel is still a relatively new channel. I think he's got just under 500 subscribers. So if you like that Drakensberg video or anything else you like on his channel, do him a favor and click that subscribe button and help him to get to his first thousand subscribers. The second channel that I really enjoy at the moment is a channel called Stay with Stacy. And it's basically a couple from Bloemfontein in South Africa, Stacy and Rikus van Weyck. And they did a big trip through Kruger in December and they decided to keep record and document it and post it on YouTube under Stay with Stacy. And it basically takes you day by day from day one to day 20 um, vlogging style showing you what they saw and experienced in Kruger. And as you know, there are hundreds and hundreds of videos about Kruger and its camps. But what I love about this so much is that I can really live vicariously through their travels and see what exactly they saw on each and every day. We might go for a little afternoon drive just to the Tenze Low Water Bridge where we found that snipe. And oh, I just found the night jar because he's going to go look for it. And it's right here in the tree. Have a look. Check that out. I was just telling you that Rikas went to go look for it and it's right here in the tree. Rikas! Rikas! I knew I married you for a reason. <laughs> My mom and dad found it in a tree down there. Twice now. So Riki went to look for it. And what's really cool, they've just come back from their very first trip to the Kalahari. So at the moment, they're busy sharing videos showing us exactly what they saw on each day of that trip. Again, Stay With Stacy is a relatively new channel, so I think they've got about 850 odd subscribers. So if you like what you see, click subscribe. And again, maybe by the end of the week, they would have reached a thousand subscribers as well. The third channel that I really enjoy is one called Adventure Sing. And it's run by a really charismatic and funny guy called Raj. And I think he's based in Kenya. And a lot of his videos are about visiting East African nature reserves and national parks. What I really enjoyed was his trip to Uganda, where he went to look for mountain gorillas. <sighs> Still super cold. You have to wear long clothes so that when you're going through the forest, it's thick and dense. You don't want your skin to get irritated. And I have a rain jacket just in case it decides to rain. Now if we go into the forest and search for gorillas. Waterproof shoes. Check. 
guards to protect from ants. Check a mask to protect the gorillas from disease. Check an impenetrable forest that's been penetrated by us. Check. The forest looks so beautiful with the mist rolling in and the trees that are so tall. Now, all I need to do is just open my hair and we'll be in an episode of Tarzan. Tarzan! Gorillas! You guys, we spotted them. Oh my god, guys! Look at that! Most of the videos are vlogging style and extremely entertaining and I love the fact that they're packed full of very useful tips. The last safari related channel that I'd like to introduce you to is called Kenneth Lawrence. Now I actually stumbled upon this channel literally only a week ago when YouTube recommended something called Tiger Country or at least a trailer to a series called Tiger Country. And I watched the first episode about Penge National Park in central India and this gentleman called Kenneth Lawrence basically takes you on a drive through this beautiful national park. And on that day, he was looking for leopards specifically. We've made a couple of stops for the gore, some spotted deer and some birds. But now we're just going to focus on the leopard and um, hopefully we get some of them. The dense vegetation post the monsoons was our main challenge. Sightings can be tricky, but when they happen, they can be very dreamlike. So we've just entered the leopard habitat. And my guide also just mentioned that along with leopards climbing trees, you can even see tigers climbing them. We stopped again. This time, we heard roars piercing through the jungle. The cat was close, but we couldn't pinpoint its exact location. Finally, there was movement. An orange ember gently drifting through the greens. This tiger's name is Sunheri. Deep in the jungle, our luck had finally changed. There was a leopard basking on a rock, surrounded by lush greenery. This is our ninth safari and we finally got a leopard. We've only been getting teasers from day one. But what a way to end our day in Pench. Now what I loved so much about this specific video was how well it was put together. Much like me, he goes to a huge amount of effort to plan the video, film beautifully, talks well in front of the camera and then narrates it really well as well. So it really is something great to watch right from the start to the finish. And I can't wait for more episodes to come out. I haven't spent a huge amount of time exploring the rest of the channel but there seems to be lots of photography and wildlife related content. His channel has about the same amount of subscribers that mine has, so he may very well be the Indian safari expert. In fact, I reached out to him in the comments below and who knows, maybe in the near future, there'll be a collaboration. So watch this space. If you enjoyed learning more about these other safari related channels, like this video and leave a comment below so that I can share more of these with you in the future. If you clicked on this video only to find a few other safari related channels to watch, you can probably skip now. But if you want to learn a little bit more about me and what I like, let me tell you what other channels I follow as well. Now, the first channel is called Yes Theory. Now, this is a group of friends that live in Venice Beach in California. And the Yes Theory motto is seek discomfort. So they make videos that take them out of their comfort zone and basically helps them to face their fears. And this can be anything from walking up to a stranger and inviting them for a trip to the other side of the world, or maybe going to meet interesting people in other places and they make documentaries. You have to watch to see what I mean. And I'll link to one specific video where they actually get two people from other sides of the world to swap lives. And yeah, it's 
absolutely incredible and extremely positive and just a wonderful community of people that they've built all around the world. Most people on this planet are born in one country and live there for the rest of their lives. Some of us are lucky enough to travel and interact with foreign cultures. But how often do you truly get to live the local culture, to actually take up the life of someone in that country, meet their friends, and stay in their home? Probably never. I love you all, boys. <laughs> Love you, baby. <laughs> America! <laughs> 72 hours after this experiment began, Alex and Stefan had successfully swapped lives without ever meeting in person. They both got immersed in a culture totally different from their own, and in the end, thanks to the people greeting them on the other side, ended up feeling right at home. We learned on both sides that no matter where you go around the world, hospitality and kindness exists everywhere. That even though Sweden and Texas are two very different places, we ended up learning that we're way more similar to each other than even us had anticipated. And so, if you ever get to travel, we highly encourage you to find and befriend some locals and truly get the immersive experience. Now, the reason that I also mentioned Yes Theory here is, interestingly enough, in 2019, when I was really exhausted from leading photographic safaris so regularly, I actually said to my wife, Tabby, I think it's time for something new. I just, I just need a new challenge. And I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I was too scared to do it. And one day I came across a Yes Theory video. I can't even remember which one it was. And I started watching video after video, basically binge watching the Yes Theory channel and realized that, you know, we can all face our fears. And if we do and we seek that discomfort, it can take us and our lives to a whole new level where you just live, you know, a much more fulfilling life. So I basically have Yes Theory to thank for the Safari Expert YouTube channel. The next channel that I watch is one that you will never, ever guess in your life. It's called Good Good and it's a golf channel. Now, I love playing golf, but I don't do it very well or very regularly. And I absolutely love watching it as well, especially on YouTube. Good Good consists of six young guys that live in Dallas, Texas, and each of them has their own golf channel. But once a month, they come together for a week that they call Good Good Week. And they basically go to different golf courses and they do these really fun challenges. And they're just super nice guys, very entertaining, and the content is very well filmed. So much so that I literally watch each and every video that they make from start to finish three times a week. Now, let me show you what I mean by entertain. Moving on to our second hole of the day, hole number 14 out here at Shadow Glen, around 290 yards uphill, par four. It's driving. Oh. Hang on, hang on. Stay right there. Stay. That's staying. That's oh my. Dude. Oh my God. Oh! <laughs> Let's go. I don't know if we can hit it better than that. Woo! <laughs> Wait, is that on? Well, this team stops I mean, came to play. I got three wood. Just going, just going right at, right at Bart right there. Hold on. Bro. Okay, I, oh my I, goodness. I, this is bro. better than mine. Bro. That yes. smacked it. Buy a lottery no, ticket. Dude, Buy a lottery was, ticket. That was beautiful. Woo! Holy crap. Leave a like. Hey, if we make a hole in one, I just have a weird feeling, boys. Holy. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what? I quit. I quit life. Listen, no. look at this. Come look on, at this. Baby. Come look on, at this. Baby. Bro. Dude. No! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I love my group. That is the Bro. greatest three. No! 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 no, 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 no. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. No! 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 If you love golf, you have to follow Good Good. And then the last channel that I'm subscribed to and whose videos I watch every single week is How Ridiculous. Now, this is basically three friends that live down in Australia and they started off doing trick shots, but then it kind of evolved into trying to break records, doing fun challenges. 
um, building big things that they can break or break things with, you really have to watch it to see what I mean. But imagine three adults that basically play for a living. I'll link to a few videos in the description below that I think you might like. But if you or your children want something entertaining to watch on the weekends, check out How Ridiculous. Thank you so much for watching right to the end. I really appreciate it. Remember that all the links are in the description below. And go and help Mark Dumbleton and stay with Stacey to reach their thousand subscribers if you enjoy their content.